Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and today we're talking about the Alpine ILX 500 series of radios. We start with the ILX 507, which is a single DIN chassis with a double DIN touchscreen on the front, a full seven inch, beautiful looking touchscreen. The ILXF 509 and the ILXF 511 are halo radios with big, beautiful floating touchscreens, nine inches and 11 inches. You might be seeing these screens flicker, but don't worry, that's just our camera here in the studio. They don't do that normally. To check fit of these radios into your vehicle, you've got a couple ways to do that here at Crutchfield. Uh, enter your vehicle into crutchfield.com so that you can see uh, if these radios indeed will fit and what will be needed to integrate them into your car. You can also, of course, just call us and talk with one of our advisors. We can look your car up and tell you exactly what fits and what it will take to get them installed. You may be wondering, where's the volume knob on these radios? And the answer is Alpine makes a separate volume knob that you can put pretty much anywhere so they don't have to be tethered to the front of the radio, taking up valuable screen space. All of these radios have the same features. They do the same stuff. So let's talk about what they do. First and foremost, you can absolutely integrate your phone with these radios for the safest and best driving experience uh, that allows you to do voice texting, make and answer phone calls, access and play all of your music on whatever streaming service you like to use, uh, do Google Maps and Apple Maps, all of those things. That's all done through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can choose to plug your phone in to a wired connection, which is great because it keeps your phone charged while you're driving and using it while you're driving, or you can connect it wirelessly, which is handy for just a short trip where you may not want to take your phone out of your pocket and plug it into the charger port. These radios are compatible with the satellite radio tuner, the SXV300 from Sirius XM. It plugs directly into an input on the back so that you can see all of what you're listening to, change channels, etc., on these big, beautiful touchscreens. There's also an HD radio tuner built in, so if you are interested in listening to your local radio stations in the best quality possible, HD radio gives you that as long as your local radio stations are actually broadcasting in HD. You can also plug in a USB memory stick with uh, music or movies loaded onto it. Uh, and so ha you can have access to all of your high res music tracks, music you have stored on your computer can be easily played here just using a USB memory stick. And there's an auxiliary input so you can plug in just about anything else. There are two camera inputs on the back of these radios. They are proprietary connections, but they do come with an adapter for a composite video input, which makes them compatible with Alpine's backup cameras as well as pretty much any backup camera. So you're not locked into Alpine, but everything will look better using an Alpine camera. Alpine has done a couple things here to ensure you get great sound quality, including a 24-bit D to A converter. Uh, the D to A converter's job is to take your digital music and convert it to analog, and it does a really nice job doing that. You can play high-res files, including FLAC files up to 9624. Alpine's Media Expander HD will take your lower resolution digital music and expand it out and try to undo some of those uh, compression artifacts. You'll have plenty of tweakability of the sound with these radios, thanks to Alpine's 13-band parametric EQ. And if you know how to use a 13-band parametric EQ, you're going to love it. Put it in advanced mode where you have all the flexibility you could possibly want. If you're not quite sure how to use a parametric EQ, put it in basic mode where it will do a lot of the thinking for you. These radios also have time correction to ensure proper stereo imaging uh, in whatever seat of the car you want it in. So I would presume that's you. You bought the radio, you bought the car, you're driving the car. It should sound its best for you and you can do that with time correction. If you're riding in the passenger seat, you can switch it over so the best sound is over there. Time correction is pretty cool. Uh, there's also six channel, four volt preamp outputs. So if the amplifiers that are built into these radios aren't powerful enough, you can add amplifiers and know that they will get good strong signal from the preamp outputs on these radios. There's also built in crossovers so that you can make sure you're only outputting the frequencies your particular speakers can handle. So if you're looking for a radio with an awesome touchscreen that looks great and sounds amazing, you should certainly consider the Alpine ILX 500 series of radios, the 507 or the Halo uh, 509 or the Halo 511. If you have any questions on this, please get in touch with us. Go to crutchfield.com contact where you can reach out and talk to one of our advisors either over the phone or chat with them online. 
You can also post your questions here on our YouTube videos. We have people behind the scenes looking at those and they will respond accordingly. And as long as you're here on YouTube, go ahead and do the thing. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching.